Hey campers, this is Big John. It has been so awesome to be not only your camp director, but your speaker for Junior High One 2014. Let's go back and talk over the things that we talked about this week. In the mornings, we talked about some really practical things for you, like reading the Bible. It's so important that you read the Bible because what you feed will grow. If you feed your relationship with God, it will grow stronger. But it's so important that you read the Bible daily because we said steady improvement is better than a sudden surge. If you feed your spirit every single day, over time, your relationship with God is gonna grow stronger and stronger and stronger. We talked about friends and words, and we talked how so important, how it's so important to choose your friends wisely and your words carefully. We talked about authority, how that God has put some authority, some guides in your boat, some guides in your life to help guide you down the rivers of life because you've got some big white water coming. So listen to those guides. Don't be a typical middle schooler and rebel and push those guides out of the boat. Be an extraordinary middle schooler and listen to and honor and obey those authorities happily, immediately, and exactly. But in the evenings, we talked about some big picture things. We talked about on Monday how it's hard being a middle schooler because you're going through all of these changes. You're going through physical changes and emotional changes. You're going through spiritual changes and your peers are changing and you go through neurological changes and all these things are happening and it's the first time you've ever been through it. And it's scary, and you have an enemy who hates you, and that enemy wants to deceive you and divide and distract, and he wants to put these these fears and insecurities in your life, and he wants to come in and he wants to put labels on your heart, labels of unworthy or unlovable or not good enough or not pretty enough or not smart enough. But we said that we've got a God, a God who loves us, a Father who loves us, a Father who created us, who purchased us, who owns us, and he's the only one that has the right to put labels on us. And he says, I've got some very specific labels for you. And my labels are this. You are God designed, purpose intended, significant, lavishly loved, and a son or daughter of the king of the universe. Don't forget those things. Don't lose sight of those things. Don't let the enemy come in and deceive you and put labels on your heart that you're anything less than who God has said that you are. I love you guys, I'm so thankful you are here, and I hope and pray that you walk away from this week more inspired and more equipped to do justly and love mercy and walk humbly with God. Part of our mission at Woodlands Camp is to inspire and equip this generation to walk humbly with God. That means we want to help our campers understand what it means to have a relationship with God. That relationship grows like any relationship. 
by spending time with God, by talking to Him, and by learning about Him. However, like any relationship, there has to be a starting point. And the Bible calls that starting point salvation. To begin a relationship with God, there's something you need to know and something you need to do. You need to know that God loved and God gave. John 3.16, probably the most famous verse in the Bible, says that God loved the world so much that he gave his only son to die so we don't have to. You see, God created the world without sin. Sin is when we do things that go against God. But when sin entered into the world, a penalty came along with it. And that penalty was death or eternal separation from God. But God, in his love, sent his son Jesus to take the penalty for our sins. And that brings us to what you need to do. John 3.16 goes on to say that God loved the world so much that he gave his only son that whoever believes or trusts in him would not have to pay sin's penalty, but will have eternal life. Believing in Jesus means understanding that you can't do enough good things to earn your way to eternal life. It means putting your full trust in what Jesus did for you on the cross to save you from the penalty of your sins. So, to begin a relationship with God, You need to know that God loved you so much that he gave his only son. And you need to transfer your trust from what you can do to what Jesus already did. We finalize that by praying a simple prayer. Understand, the words are not magical. It's simply a declaration to God of what's happening in your heart. You can pray a prayer something like this. Dear Jesus, I've done some bad things and you call that sin. And I know there's a penalty for that sin that I could never pay. So I'm transferring my trust from my good works to your death on the cross to save me from my sins. Please forgive me for my sins. Today, I choose you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, we'd like to invite you to visit woodlandscamp.org slash next steps to find some important next steps in growing your new relationship with God.